Okay, Purse Junkies, so here's an update. Whew, it is Sunday afternoon, um, just a little bit after 2. So we were up early at the crack of dawn because we had to drive all the way to Cleveland to go to my son's football game. Unfortunately, they lost. They had a bad loss to the team they beat in the championship last year. But that's okay. This is their first loss of the season. They have one more game before they go into the playoffs. So let's hope they pull through and get themselves together. But uh, how did my evening end last night? So remember I told you I had the eczema in my scalp. So what we had to do was we had to take those two braids out because the synthetic hair was irritating the area. Oh my God. Now that I have that out, I don't, it's, it's not as bad. I am, I, I can breathe. For those of you that have eczema, you know what I am talking about. So with that said, I can now wear gloves. And if I need to apply more ointment to my scalp, it's easier because with those long nails, mm -mm. but when they're this length, I think I can manage with the gloves to apply it without the synthetic hair. So what I've decided to do is I have my three little nails here that I did not apply last night and we're going to put them on. I am going to do two with foils and then we're going to go off the rails and we're just going to do one with this pink color so it's something different but the nails are pretty much this color pink also for those of you who don't know pink is my favorite color but I've kind of like steered away from it because I'm now into like the greens and the browns the more earth tone colors um but you know what because we're going into a new season, we're gonna use that. So what I'm going to do now, because I need the foils to do these. I think I'm going to do these two in foils and this one in the pink. So let me get the foil. Ta-da! And I might even do a different foil I don't know. What do you guys think? I should do something different. Let's be different. Why do we have to do? We don't have to do the same thing. How about How about this design? We're going to do this design. It's close but it's different. So, we will do that design. The foils are out. My lamps are out because I don't need much. All I need to do now is buff the shine off of these nails. I have my alcohol. I have my um, pads here, the no lint pads, so they say. And so what we're going to do now is I am going to turn the camera downward so that you can have a view of how I take care of these nails. So... Let's go ahead. Let's bring you down. I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know why. It's, it's, it's just being a little wonky. Why? I don't know. All right. So we're going to come down like so. And I've changed into some shorts because I didn't feel like. Let's see, is this a better view? It's a good view, I guess. There you go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I just, just take the shine off the nail. That's it, nothing fancy. Take the shine off. And right now I am watching one of my favorite YouTubers, um, and she's also a nail enthusiast. Her name is Anne Elizabeth. And um, whenever I need inspiration to get these nails done, I kind of like turn to her channel, Zuli. I used to watch Mimi, um, but she does more cooking. And sometimes when she's with Zuli, she'll do nails. Um, and my other, the forms that I'm going to put on, 
I kind of like prepped them last night so I don't have to prep them, which makes my life so much more easier. Yes, it does. And we're just, like I said, I'm just doing enough to take the shine off my nails. I hope I'm staying in frame. Nothing major because, like I said, this is only going to be here until the end of the month because I will start with my October theme nails. Let's see, let me make sure that. Okay, I think that's better. My October theme nails. The boys are downstairs right now with their mom. Oh, Lord, let me tell you. Boys are busy. They're just, and you know, I have a son. Oh, I'm beat. I'm beat, I'm beat. And I am going to take some alcohol because we are going to just go ahead and wipe that dust off of them from me and I'm just showing you how I do my nails um, everyone is different when it comes to their fingernails but this is just my process and it works for me it took me some time to perfect this but remember I said I would have so much stuff out it would literally drive me crazy and because I'm doing my non-dominant hand I don't think I'll be drilling it at all I don't necessarily need to drill it at all I'm just I probably go back in with the file over the edges because I do see where when I um, put the base and the top coat um, it um, kind of like spilled over to my edges kind of like spilled over so you can see and that will make a difference when you're trying to lay the nail down. So I think that was the only nail. I kind of like saw it when I was out in the sunlight today. And you see, yeah, it's just on the corner. So it comes up once you file it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take our alcohol pad again. And we're just going to wipe it down and then go back and apply more of the dehydrator because like I said I want them to stay and because when I clean like washing dishes and things things like that I am old school I don't use a dishwasher I use my hands and a cloth and a sponge and I use extremely hot water so hmm, there you go all right I knew I forgot something I forgot the nail gel adhesive so I'll go back and get that. So let's just go ahead and get the primer on here. Listen to that little one. He is something else. You would never know that kid is three years old. Oh, the last one, they say the last one will make you think several times about having another child. And that I could test, I can attest to because my baby, honey, Not only is she smart, she's independent, and don't bother her. Don't get in her way. Okay, so let me get my nail adhesive. Okie dokie, Smokey, I'm back. So these are the nails. This is the nail adhesive that I use, which is from Enel Couture. I, like I said before, I love this brand. So pretty much that's all I use. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put just a, a layer on each nail. Nothing major. And as most of you know, my room is right next door to the laundry room. So it's Sunday, I'm doing laundry. This is the last um, week that we'll have to go to the laundromat because they are coming to repair the dryer. Okay, so we're gonna put a layer on this nail.
then we are going to put a layer and we were able to get the grocery shopping in praise jesus there's just a few things that i need to pick up um nothing major because not everything can, you need to buy in bulk if you know what i mean all right so we have those three nails done let's go ahead and cure her for or cure them for 60 seconds but i am loving my nails i always get compliments on my nails so and most folks don't know that a sister blind one eye and can't see out the other but that's neither here nor there um let's see is that what i'm looking for yes it is so how's everyone's sunday going i hope that everyone is having a blessed and happy sunday morning I am just pleased to feel some relief on my scalp. I did not realize that this synthetic hair could affect an area that was already irritated. Oh, Lord have mercy. But like I said, I feel much better now. And guess what? So it be that I won't have braids in those two areas, but guess what I'll survive all right so these are done and then what I do at this point is I take more of the um, nail gel glue the press on nail glue and then I start to put some right inside of the nail tip like so they say a little bit goes a long way and it is true before i used to saturate them just be everywhere all thick and clumpy but like i said the more you do something the better you become and for me um uh, especially with my limitations um i really have to take my time then what i do one thing that i've learned from other youtubers is to slide the nail on which helps gives it you know that's where you want it and now we're going to flash cure just a flash cure and that's perfect we're going to flash cure it again to make sure that it's on there good and voila there you go and then we're going to go to the next one and we're going to do the same process i love doing nails i love doing my nails i love doing my daughter-in-law's nails the difference with her is she liked to see what you're doing i told her if i'm going to do her nails from this point forward she's going to have to sit back and let me do the job so like i said we're just going to slide the nail on because i want it to be a perfect fit and then we're going to flash cure okay i did it see she's on there she's a little wonky but guess what it's okay Okay, that's nail number three, two. I'm sorry, now for nail number three, which is the thumb. We're going to go ahead and put the gel inside. And this is how I apply my nails. And folks, when I say they stay on, they do not come off. Um, and when I say I wash, I when I'm cleaning, like if I'm cleaning the bathroom, washing dishes or anything like that, I use, well, I can't say that I use, I have no choice. The water here is extremely hot. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to slide her down. Free edge to free edge. We're going to flash cure. She's on straight. Let's go ahead and give her a full cure. We're all set there and all right 
Now what I'm going to do is go to my lamp, which is here, and we're gonna give these three a 60 second cure. My lamp is right here. For those of you that wanna see, I think that's a better visual. All right, yes. So this is where I keep my lamp. And what I'm thinking about doing, this is my vanity, but I, thank God I got a larger vanity. I can build a shelf and what I'm thinking about doing is just really building in areas for my lamps so I don't have to take them out because that is like such a pain for me. So for my lamps and for my nail drill, and if I can do that and just a nail for like things that I use on an ongoing basis here, it would be so much better for me. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna close this back up because I don't need it anymore. The only thing I need now are my primers, my gel adhesive. And so I did check the polish and the this adhesive. Um, you can get this on Timu or Shein, this one. That nail polish that I'm using, this brand, um, I purchased from Shein. I was out just looking today, but I'm not in a position to buy. I don't need right now. So um, I want to try and just really use the polishes that I have and go from there. But now what I'm going to do once this cures for 30 more seconds and they're on pretty tight. They are there, there. Now I am going to take this nail file, this one. Let's see, and I have another one that I use because it's, um, and this one to buff it out. Oh my goodness. That's all right. All right. So we're just going to buff out these three nails. And because this is my non-dominant hand, I mean, my dominant hand, I just, um, I move the nail along the file versus me filing. And I got that from another nail enthusiast on YouTube. Um, So folks, like I said, everyone, you know, they do nails differently. Everyone, everyone that I watch, their application is different. I have yet to see one person who has an application that is um, used by the entire industry. Everyone does things differently. As you know, I do because folks, I am legally blind. And I am just, I do a lot. I, I kind of like feel my nails throughout. Like last night when I was in bed and I was just kind of like rubbing along my nails, just trying to see like, did I miss something? And there were some, you know, areas because I can't see, but you know, you learn to use your sense of um, touch for any imperfections. Um, like yesterday we were in the store. It's like every now and then, <laughs> my um family will be like oh I, you know because my my disability like they say you have a invisible disability and that will be me so we were in the store um last night and i wanted to put something back and i thought i had it on the shelf child my daughter-in-law was with me and she, all she could do was laugh because it went right to the floor um unfortunately along with my disability i have diplopia which is double vision so I don't know if it's if I'm talking to you or your twin. Um, I know once I lost a um, thousand dollars. I kid you not. And it was money that I had just the holidays. My kids had come into town, and I thought that I had put my money in my purse, but I put it in the in this twin, and it hit the counter. And unfortunately, they, whoever was behind me, took it. The cashier said she saw the lady pick up the envelope, but she thought it was hers. And um, we were in Dillard's. And let me tell you what Dillard's did. Because the cashier was able to validate that I did have a large sum of money, they allowed me to shop in Dillard's. Um, 
so it was like on them and I was, you know, they didn't have to do that at all. So, you know, that was a blessing in itself, but my daughter was so upset. And I think from that point on is when I stopped carrying cash. What I'm doing now is just buffing it up. I stopped carrying cash um, because who can afford to lose something like that? Not me. And yeah, so I, they got me, that they did. So now I use my debit card when needed, um, which isn't that often. But also I'm careful when paying bills as well because child's supposed to pay something that was $40 and put 400. It's, it's, it's crazy. But you know, over the years, things have gotten better. Hold on a second because this is just very loud. And the volume is at two and it's very loud. Yeah, so that's a little bit about my life. Okay, so those are nicely buffed out. Now what I'm going to do is go back in with my lint-free um, pads here. And we're going to clean these nails. Hold on just a second. And yes, this is the same alcohol that I used before, folks. Don't come for me. Um, so, all right, there you go. They're all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back in with my dehydrator. And some might say, so is all that necessary? Well, for me, yeah. Listen, my, when it comes to toys, my grandson is extremely competitive, the oldest one. On the football team, he's like, all right, team, would you hear him down there? And the little one is so, like, very demanding and, whew, let me just say this. He's a male Leo. An end of the month Leo. Very strong personality, strong will. But I told his mom, I said, you see, I have to look at him. I have to give him the stank face for him to understand that grandma mean business because he thinks that I am playing with him sometimes. I'm like, boy, I'm not playing. I mean business. All right, so we got those done. Boop, boop. Now I am going to go in with my Eno Couture Primer. I, and, and for Halloween, folks, that's the time that I can have ugly nails because I am going to be using foils and gels and adornments, um, but it'll be on my um, non-dominant hand because I, you know, would be cooking and cleaning and especially like when I'm washing rice and stuff, I don't want ornaments, I mean, like gems and jewels to fall off in my food. So... I won't be um, using this hand. This hand will be pretty basic. All right, so now that we have that done, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and polish this nail first. And I need, I'm gonna go ahead and polish this nail first. So let's go ahead and get that done. We're gonna polish and um, top coat it. This is a very loud pink. I hope I like it, I don't know. It'll do. And really because, uh, because this nail tip already has a color on it, I don't need two coats on here, I am fine with just one coat. And I like starting at the tip 
because I don't have that big lump there that I used to get before. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm all right with it. Uh-oh, I needed that good old white. Thank goodness I keep everything so close because You know, I'm getting like the nail techs where they take their hands and and cure you versus using um, a brush. I'm just being lazy right now. Okay. I think I can live with that. Oops. No, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to cure this for 60 seconds. Then we're going to go in with a top coat because like I said, this base, this already has a color to the nail. I don't need to, I don't need to go through all that, but I'm just loving this set and like i said because i had already um since we kind of like resolved the issue with my scalp i said you know what we're gonna go in and we're gonna do these pearls that's what i call them really my pearls yep and folks i want to do a different series also and one is <laughs> oh lord we're, i'm gonna let my grandsons create my um like a spectacular look for the month of October. So we're gonna set up downstairs and have them do that one day. Lord help me. Let me tell you how I kept them quiet yesterday while their mom was at work. She came home. I had my son, my grandson, he wants to create bows in your um in your hair. This is something that you know he's one of his little shows where, um, you know, kids with their little experiments and their little whatever. So I let him sit there and I said, all right, go ahead. And when the baby saw him doing it, he wants to do it also. Now, you know how that was. I have one pulling on my right and one pulling on my left. Oh, but you know what? They were quiet. Okay, so there we are. And we're just going to go in with one layer of the top coat and then we'll work on my um foils and i am going to do the foils one at a time i'm not going to do i am not going to be um experimenting trying to do multiple all right so let's get this done and make sure you do free edge to free edge and that's another reason why i like to start at the base also um, to make sure that I catch my free edge. Because if you don't, no bueno. Yes. So, that's what I'm doing today. And my son wants a pedicure, go figure. All right, so there we go. And while I have that curing, I might as well go ahead and put the foil gel on this nail so that once it's done all I have to do is put the foil on it see look at that all right free edge to free edge because you want the foil to really adhere now I know a lot of people say they have problems with their foils um, and I followed this one lady and she says you just got to let that once you take it out the lamp you have to let it sit for a while and then add your foils I need to put some gel on the corners hold on because I don't want to miss anything Okay, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and give these two a 60 second. We're gonna do 60, then we're gonna do 30 on the other one. I'm gonna close this up because we don't want it to. my little rings this is what I wore today I had on some black leggings and I wore my bangles shirt to support the team although all I could do is sit and listen to music the entire game because it looked like when I tell you they look like just one big black dot on the field that's how my vision is so I'm always I have to listen to the people around me when they're playing and Lord, this was just a, this game wasn't good because I just didn't like the way the parents were talking to their children. You know, they have to understand that these kids are six and seven years old. How are you going to say, I'm going to beat him when I get home because he knows that, what? You're going to do what? Now, I know that, you know, just speaking out of, but no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You're not going to, you're not going to do anything to any kids. And you know, they try and correct, they, well, I shouldn't say try and correct themselves because she did correct them. She's like, no, I'm just gonna, you know, talk to him because he's not playing well. But you know, one of the things that I always tell people is when a child is used to doing something at a certain time um, and you change that time, there's a whole lot that goes with that. So we're used to playing late in the afternoon, not first thing in the morning, okay? There you go. That has a lot to do with it. I'm going to turn my nails over because I want these free edges to be dry. Just a few seconds. One, one, two, three. I was watching one young lady want to be natural, and she actually was counting. One, two, three. I thought that was so cute. So there you go for that. And it's dry. Look at how pretty that color is. That's a pretty color. Wow, it is. So now I'm going to let this one dry just a little bit. I'm going to let her sit for just a little bit. And I really like the way that nail looks. Like I said, I am not going to file around the edges. I, I rarely do on my, on my right hand. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it just, this nail just really lays well. Now, when it grows out, yes, I will go around the edges, but by then, guess what I'll be doing? I'll be removing them. No, maybe not this hand. Maybe not this hand. I'll probably fill it with like a builder gel because like I said, I don't want long nails on this hand. This is going to be my spectacular nail hand. Okay, so now that we've done that they've sat for just a little bit not a long bit just a little bit Let me, okay now I am going to go in and I'm going to go in this way because I want it to just lay all across my nail so we're going to go in this way all right and make sure you now the one thing that I really want to perfect is sometimes my flowers break up um, because you know you get that little crease right there it's okay I'm not gonna lose sleep over it then I'm gonna take it off and voila and I only want one um, I'm not gonna do a double crossover with it once is enough and I am going to take my top coat once again and we're going to Put a top coat on her so that she cures. And I like using the Ena Couture top coat because it's a little thicker than the one that I used the last time. Um, the one that I used the last time, um, I had to, that's why I had to go back in and do maintenance because it was too thin. This is a little thicker. And this one, um, I did a better job of laying the actual foils. So... There you have it. Oh, listen to my grandson. And I'm telling you why he's so why he's so upset because of his brother. 
And the, the little one, he can care less. When he knows that he's irritating you, it's like a sign for him to keep going. So, all right. So... Let's go, because I see a little, I think I have some ridges from the top coat. Uh-oh, I hit a countdown. The countdown is generally for the little one. Upside down a little bit. I think I'm just gonna let this one cure on its own. We're gonna give her 60 seconds, and then we're gonna go in for another 30 seconds. So I hope that you guys are enjoying me applying my foils and to my nails. I know there's one of my subscribers um, that likes it when I do the foils, uh, you know. So my foils you have it um once i'm done with this i'm taking a nap because i'm tired as it, i mean it's nice here in the midwest but that sun was beaming this morning and we went to cracker barrel for thanksgiving and i was telling my daughter-in-law i said you know i remember a time when we would travel for the holidays and you know you pass by cracker barrel and you see all these you know, like elderly people, you know, retired folks, let me just put it that way. And they just be lined up at Cracker Barrel on Thanksgiving Day. And I would be like, oh, they don't have family. It's so sad, you know. But one day, my daughter and I was like uh, two weeks before Thanksgiving. And so she was like, mommy, let's have a, a tradition, you and I. Uh, we're going to go out for lunch or dinner during Thanksgiving. So we went um, to Cracker Barrel because it was lunchtime. And so I ordered their turkey dinner and I liked it. So I said, oh, this is gonna be our tradition. We're gonna come here every year and we'll have a pre-Thanksgiving dinner. But I told her I am that person right now in my life. I will come here to Cracker Barrel. Oh, it's dry. And I will um, have my Thanksgiving dinner and eat it there and say, can you please pack me two plates to go, please? <laughs> Have one for her take home because I am just not, I'm, you know, I, okay, it's someone else's turn to to start cooking and all that because I just can't, I don't know. I can't do it anymore. I can't, mm -mm. And I don't do turkey, I buy my ham I buy the ham sliced from Honey Bake, and I buy the turkey sliced from Honey Bake. Now, I'll make dressing because my daughter loves my dressing, and um, I'll make my mac and cheese and some collard greens, and that's it. But for the most part, I'll buy um, uh, chicken. Like one year, I roasted two chickens. One year, I had stewed chicken. I sure did. And my girls were quite happy with it. So we're almost done with this whole process. And I really do like doing my nails. It is so therapeutic for me. It is. It is just so therapeutic for me. Um, when I don't make a mess. Now, I have made a big mess down here on my floor. But that's okay. I'll just pick it up. Um... Oh, I need to watch Sunday service because we missed Sunday service today because of the game. It was so far away from home. So, hooey. And folks, I don't have to cook today. My daughter-in-law is cooking. And she's making my son's favorite meal. And that meal is going to last today and tomorrow. Praise Jesus. And some of you may wonder, Andre, why are you moving your hand from one side to the next? Because I want my free edges to cure you know on your thumbs 
you have a problem with these areas curing properly. Um, that's one thing that I like about this lamp. I can go from side to side. With the other lamp, I'm not so comfortable with um, that one. But And also, I think that I have a better grip on or better um, position with my nails because of my desk. My desk rises up and down as well as my chair. So the desk that I had previously was shorter. I gave that desk to my son and the chair, my son, my grandson, and the chair as well. The chair that I have now is either just up or down, meaning high, because this is, I wanted something that would... Um, accommodate the desk and the desk actually goes higher than this i just have it um position where i know that i can get a good angle and i think that's another reason why i'm able to position my nails and get them on without them being turned this way turned that way because i've i've had that and <sighs> that's a long story so this is the last pass for this and we're gonna go down here with this. Let's see if I can get a better uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'll watch Sunday service once I'm done with this. Our pastor, he's so funny because he's a Cleveland Browns fan and if the Browns are playing you know he praying for them and you're going to get out of church on time. There you go. There you have it. I am so pleased with that. And we're going to go ahead. And, oops. We're going to go ahead and put a top coat on here. She is definitely, I guess she's got a lot for the boys. All right, so... Let's go ahead and put this top coat on here. And like I said, we're going to go free edge to free edge. I like making sure that I get those free edges because that's when you start getting your lifting when you don't. Also at your cuticle as well. All right. Oh. And folks, also in my previous videos where I've decluttered my nails, um, I put some press-on nails on my Poshmark closet. The link is in the description box. Um, please um, check out that video. And if you're interested in purchasing, um, um, make your purchase U.S. only. Unfortunately, I don't ship outside the United States on my closet. But I really want to start moving things on my closet. I might open up another shop. Um, we shall see. All right. Yep. There you go. So let's put her in there. And the foils are done. The nail is done. All the nails are done. My head feels better. And I was trying to take pictures of what was happening back there um, because I just felt I was miserable last night. And we were like, just cut it out and see what happens. And it was like instantaneous like that. And I said, oh, my, 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 my. So... Ooh, I'm going to bring, when I'm done here, I'm going downstairs, I'm getting Little Man, and I'm bringing him up here because he he's the ringleader. He's the, he's the, he gets things started. So if I bring him up here and put on one of his shows, he's going to take a nap because he's tired. Anytime that you hear them down there crying and whining, they're tired. And I know how to get them. I come up here and I put on an ASMR movie or video and they don't like it i don't want to watch that grandma but you're gonna watch it today yes you are and listen i look over five minutes later knocked out 
this morning, I locked my doors last night when I went to sleep because my grandson has a, a habit of coming to my bedroom now when he wake up in the middle of the night instead of going to his mom and dad. So I heard him um, at my door. I did not move. Usually I get up and open the door, but I knew we had an early start. I said, no, you're not going to kick me all night long and keep me up. So he went to his mom and dad. And then the little one this morning, when they went to wake him up, he's going to tell his parents, I'm not ready to get up. I don't want to get up right now. Mm-hmm. That's what he told them, that he was not ready. So, look, all dry. One edge to the next, dry. So, those are my nails. Mm-hmm. And I love them. What do you think? Did I do a good job? The thumb? So, we're all done. My fingers are a little wonky, but we're all done. So, folks, I want to thank you. For those of you that are new, welcome. And for my oldies but goodies, welcome back. And um, please share your comments. Um, what do you think? How did I do? And would you like for me to do your nails? Thank you so much for watching, folks. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.